Katie Quilters. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica, AccuQuilts Corporate Marketing Specialist. Welcome to our Happy Holidays Extravaganza. So today we have this special show and we're gonna help you get in the holiday spirit with our holiday themed dies. That's, we have so many, so many. And in today's show, we are gonna show you several creative ways that you can use AccuQuilt dies to create all kinds of holiday projects. At AccuQuilt, we're working to inspire makers everywhere to experience the joy of quilting by helping you cut fabric in a way that is fast, easy, accurate, and safe. Exactly. And as always, we've got some fun planned for you. We've got some great prizes, a ton of exciting projects and inspiration, and a special offer only available today. All right, before we go any further, we have a special deal for everyone. For today only, till midnight central time, yep. use the promo code holiday 15 to take an extra 15% off your order. Using this code will save you 40% on currently marked down cutters, dies, cubes. Some exclusions apply, so check the website for details. But today, Erica, if you're looking for a cutter, yes, 40% 40%. off. 40%. So or so go big, or ready, Get set, go. your cutter. If it's for you, if it's for a friend, if yes. it's for you and a friend, it's okay. <laughs> When you purchase $100 or more, you will receive free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. And don't forget, this offer is only good through midnight central time. And with global supply chain issues happening currently, we have limited holiday stock. So be sure to get your order in before what you're looking for is sold out. That's right. Speaking of sold out, yes. Tuesday we launched the Rising Star Die. And guess what? It is sold out after Gone. one day. So take advantage of the items you see here. Currently, um, everything we have is in stock at this moment. At this moment, but as we be speak. Before they're <laughs> sold out. Now, Quilters, we've made holiday shopping easy and worry-free. You can return one of our guaranteed fabric cutters, opened or not, by January 31st, 2022, for a refund. Be sure to check the return page on our website for details. Now, to get your order in during the show, which we know is important, is. you can use your phone's camera to capture this QR image and go right to the site. If you don't have access to a QR reader, no worries. Just open up a new tab in your browser, go to the top of the page, click on that plus sign, and in that very top box, type in accuquilt.com slash party to place your order. That way you won't miss a minute of our show. It should have been extravaganza for today. Oh, the code should have been. Cody. Okay, Cody. that's all right. All right, you can find these products at your local AccuQuilt retailer as well. To find the retailer closest to you, check out the store locator at the top of the page at accuquilt.com. And quilters, quilt now, pay later. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit accuquilt.com slash financing. All right, let's get into our holidays, shall we? We shall. Okay, so let's start with some fall oh. dyes because it still is fall. I've got one right here and that I love. We have the Go Maple Leaf die. All right, so this is absolutely you and I, one of our favorite it block It really on is. We love this. And I've made a wall hanging with it. You've made things I've with made it. Things with I've it. made table runners. And talk about this, the special design you know, of this. No, the special design. This is an eight inch finished block. Yep. But it finishes, all right, you hold it. You can well, see you whether we're Well, you can do the spread. grid. So it's got, it's a three by three or a nine patch grid, but it finishes at eight inches. Do you know what that means? It has, I don't know. It has math that Pam and I don't have to do. Right. Plus, it has this great leaf block. Right, the stem. so cool, the that stem. stem yeah. And it cuts it for you. So we're going to show you how to cut right. one. And for me, that's always the, been the hardest thing when you make a maple yes. leaf block. Right. Well, and you know me, I kind of like the smaller sizes. And so having this at an 8-inch size to me is like just the right size. Right. So this is a block and board or a bob die. All of the letters are, all of the shapes are screen printed mm -hmm. so that we um, can cut them easily and keep track of our plate pieces. And all right. of course we've got our dog ears cut yes. off so that once we're done, we're just going ahead and Boy, this I, one goes Yeah, no, I did that backwards. It was amazing. Yeah, we have specialized dog ears. So from this corner to this corner is that perfect quarter inch seam. Mm -hmm. Quilters ask us all the time, is it a true quarter inch seam or scant? It is a true quarter inch seam. Yeah. But you always want everybody's sewing machine are different. And yes. there are different things that, that can factor in. So things like your thread and how you press. So you always want to do your test block, right? We talk about test blocks. Yep. You want to do your test block. You want to lay it out. You want to lay your ruler on top of it. Make sure that your seam allowance is good. 
Right. Now, this is on a 6x24 die board. It's going to fit through all of our cutters, including our Go Me, and it's perfect for um, a quilter of any skill level. Now, Erica, when we talk about limited stock, there are nine of these dies yes. left. When we started this morning, there were nine of these dies yep. left. So, if you want a maple leaf, and it's one of our favorites, yeah. I'm going to jump on that right now. I'm not sure when the next order is coming in. 40% off. All right, so we're going to cut one here. We're going to use our Go Big today, also 40% off. The cool thing about the Go Big is it's wide enough, Erica, you could run two of these you 6 could. 24. You could. You yeah, could, in you one could pass. multitask. Yes, you could cut two quilts at one time. And who among us isn't a multitasker when you're a quilter, right? I feel like that's a really good word to describe yeah, quilters. I think so, too. Okay. All right, so we're going to lay this down here, and okay. we're going to just give it some love. People ask us why we give it love. Static. Static. And people also ask us why our shapes are at an angle on the die board. Oh, this is a great question, and we do get that so often. The reason that they are angled on the die board is so that they get the best possible cut. Right. So when it goes through the cutter, it's like going over a speed bump. Right. And if you drive over a speed bump, you're you're gonna jump. You're gonna have that little right. jump. Go so ahead. we don't want that blade to be par right parallel under the cutter. So you also wanna make sure that your lengthwise grain is lined up parallel to the lengthwise blade as it goes through the cutter. Right. So. In other words, we have to do what we don't usually do as quilters, and we, we don't square up, okay? We don't. You actually do have your, and you can see, we've got our fabric. We laid our fabric at that angle. Right, and you wanna make sure that you lay your fabric at that angle so that it, um, you're not wasting fabric. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so look at the, how fast I'm gonna put this together. Oh. This is a great scrappy die. I know I yeah. did mine scrappy. Um, I think you did too. I did too. I just love it. It's what we do. It is. So look at how fast we cut this block. Great for chain piecing. Yes. And it, half score triangles, we cut off the dog ears. It's going to sew together perfectly. Yep. So it's our maple leaf die. And you want to grab our pieces? Uh, I will. I think we have a little table so runner. So we've got a great table runner if you want to grab that. Yes. But it's a long table runner because Thanksgiving's table can be kind of long, right? Super excited about the Thanksgiving right. table. All right, you just leave that right there. Yeah, get that. perfect. Wait, here we go. Okay, so this is actually a table runner that Erica made, um, and it has grunge because Moda. We love that. We do. Um, but wasn't this a great scrap buster? It was a great scrap buster, and you'll see even the the border and the little cornerstones are scrappy. It was really designed to be scrappy. Right. And it's really fun. It's just a nice, good sized table runner. You could make it longer though if you need to expand the table. You do. And it's a free downloadable pattern at AccuQuilt.com. That's right. All right, now we have some other fall dies to take a look at. That's right. So here is, boy, we just have stacks of them. It's so exciting. so exciting. many things to show okay, you. I'm gonna give you those and I'll hold these. Okay. Okay, so these are, this is our fall medley die. Mm -hmm. And this is Go Pumpkins, Go Pumpkins with the three different um, shapes. Now, quilters, don't forget, all of our applique shapes have a free embroidery download. And That's in a right. second, we'll show you what those stitches look like. And they're all going to work with a variety of materials. Now, we've cut a lot of felt and wool with them just because that's kind of that season. Right. But this is craft foam. You can is. also cut fusible fabric, uh, mm -hmm. fuse your cotton fabric, put the fusible on the back of it. Right. Use a lightweight or a featherweight right. and then cut it. You can use up to four layers of the fused fabric. Right. And we sell fusible on the website. We do. Throw it's some in your some, cart. It's just some soft fuse. So let's show you those three stitches here. We're going to lay out our pumpkins. That's right. Is it still? So those free, three free, there we go. There we three go. Three free stitches. Here's the example of the satin stitch. It's just a very tight stitch, all close together. This is great for things you're gonna wash a lot, like right. a towel or a t-shirt, right. something like that. Here's the blanket stitch. This is really probably my favorite. Yes, I, I use love it all this the time. For things like um, wall hangings. Right. And then this is our motif stitch, and it's just a little decorative stitch, but again, it's gonna go around and anchor this just right down. Now, we've got all kinds of videos on the website about how to work with our embroidery. Right. Super simple. Right. And don't forget, these are free patterns. All right, so you wanna talk about our projects that we yes, have Yes, so this is our fall skinny wall hanging. Look. 
Here we go. Yeah, Here's my banana. I know. And the great thing is you could just use whatever pumpkins and leaves whatever, and acorns you right. want. What other fabrics? And then we used a little cube there mm -hmm. on the end. Yep. All right. And then here is the go pick of the patch. Yeah. We don't want our step. pumpkins yeah. to be nope. upside down. Here we go. There we go. And this is one of our for purchase embroideries, downloadable embroideries right. that we've used on this one. Right. And again, really seasonal, really fun. You could have it up all fall long. You could yep. make it quick, fun, easy um, fall project. Absolutely great. I love it. All right. So if you're looking for even more inspiration than what you're going to see on today's show, then be sure to visit our blog. We've shared some great posts that are informative. They're inspirational. Be sure to check them out. And if you haven't yet signed up to be an exclusive AQ Circle member, you'll receive emails to, and be among the first to know, well, about everything, including sneak peeks and new products. We have some new products. I love it. Visit AQQuilt.com slash AQ Circle. Now, you know, Pam, I really need to get into spirit of gnome November. Yes, you do. So maybe we should uh, give away some gnome dyes? Hey, let's do that. Okay. All right. We're going to give um, gnome dyes to people who have registered for our show. Okay. All right. And the first lucky winner of a gnome die is, drum roll please, <laughs> Kathy C. from Springdale, Arkansas. Congratulations, Kathy. You're going to love the gnome die. Oh, you will. And our second lucky winner of a gnome die is, drum roll please, <laughs> Sherry L. from Louisville, Kentucky. Congratulations. <laughs> Ladies, please share with us your gnomes, because you and I, we've been making gnomes, gnomes for days. for days. And quilters, don't forget about the special offer we have for you today. That's right. Until midnight tonight, you can use the holiday promo, holiday 15, to get an extra what? 15%. 15% off your order. The code will combine with already marked down items, saving you 40% on go cutters. Yes, you heard that right. Cutters. Dies and cubes. Some exceptions apply, so be sure to check the website for details. Right. And don't forget, that includes like our Ready, Set, Go, which has right. the go fabric cutter and the two and a half inch strip and the eight inch cube. The perfect way to get started yep. with a cutter. Now, quilters, we've been known to sell out of stock. For example, our new Go Rising Star Dye sold out in one day. So if you want to get your order in now, there, do it now so you can do get now. something specific. We were down to one. nine of the maple leaves, don't yes. forget. Yes. All right, remember, quilters, when you purchase $100 or more, you're also going to get free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. All right, let's take a look at some of our more, uh, some more of our holiday themed dyes. All right, that sounds good. Now, our fastest selling new dye in AccuQuilt history was the Go Gingerbread Cookie. It was so popular that, here's our cookie. Yes, I'll hold them. Here's our cookie. Yep. It was so popular that then we introduced, oh, these fell off. Da, 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 go back, I pre-cut. There you go. The gingerbread, the cookie decorations to go with it because you got to decorate your gingerbread cookies, yes. right? That's yes. like our little dress. So the cookie, um, gingerbread cookie is so cute and you can cut them out of so many things. We have some little... Um, you have felt? felt? Here, I got a mat. Oh, look at you. Okay. So you now covered. here, I want to show you this. We won't cut decorations today, but look, if you have this go big, which is 40% off, two dies in one pass. Two. Look at that. AccuQuilt is 90% faster than rotary cutters or scissors, so two is like exponentially faster. That's right. Now again, we have free downloadable embroidery for the cookie, for the cookie decorations. Yes. They're so cute. And you can also embellish this any way you want to. Rick rack, buttons, all kinds of things. Right. You can make it as complicated or as simple as you want. And you could make a little girl. You could make a little girl cookie. With a bow in her hair, you could put a, a bow tie on him. We have more fun. We when, do. Do you remember when this dye was released and paper everyone dolls. in the office was, had, was making cookies? We were all cookies. sitting and decorating our cookies. Yeah. It's super cute. We have some fun things. All right, our good friend um, Melanie Call from A Bit of Scrap Stuff made this super cute wall hanging. Which we absolutely love. This is such a I'll cute hold it wall you hanging. Talk about okay, it. so you're gonna see our cookies. We've got boy cookies and girl cookies. Again, cookies and the cookie decorations. Um, here's the gingerbread cookie, the buttons, the bow. Here's our little girl. We use the buttons to decorate her dress and put the little heart on it and she's wearing the bow on her head. Now this used a cube to make this. It's a really fun pattern. Yes. And 
we've also got some other dyes that we're going to be talking about soon. We've got holly leaves and berries from the Holiday Medley. This snowflake is from the Holiday Medley. We've got the little Go Home from, by Stacy Michelle. And right down here is the tree that comes on that same Go Home die. Look at how fun this is. I Super love this. Super cute. But you could do so many different things with it. You can. And then, just because you can, let's right. have some. Do you want to hold one? Oh, I will hold, hold one. one. Okay, so these are really cute placemats. Our good friend Amanda Harwood of Larkspur Quilts made. She's yes. mode of fabric. So, again, we've used, this is um, the tree. We'll talk about it in the um, holiday um, medley holiday die. Medley, yeah. And then she used the four inch cube to make those so stinking cute flying geese. Absolutely. And yours has a plate, or mine, yours mine has, has a plate. has a plate and cookies. So this is the, the large eight inch circle from the go big circle die. Yeah. And you could totally um, personalize them, use the two inch alphabet. Oh, it certainly. also has- You could do so much with them. A free embroidery download. All right, now the next one up is going to be our Go Holiday Medley die. And we alluded to it. We took a look at it a little earlier. Here it is. We've got the shapes cut out with felt in this case. Yes. I mean, here's the snowflake. Can you imagine cutting this by hand? It would take you know you what forever. I say? Always. Only kindergartners should cut snowflakes. Yes. And yeah. here's a great tree. Again, fun to embellish that. You can put the, the dots on it, you can use them as holly berries. With the holly leaf, you can do so many things with it. It's great. Again, this is fun. Free downloadable embroidery, which is really handy when it comes to a snowflake. And I do love the fact that we have so many different kinds of snowflakes because yes. once Christmas is over, we we in Nebraska for sure have yes. winter. And then we use snowflakes for several months as yes. our decor. Yes. yes. So, and again, felt, wool, fusible cotton. All right, we've got another one of our favorites coming up. This is so cute. This is so cute. Okay, so this is our gnome, our gnome die. Yep. And he was released last December. And he is good for all seasons. Yeah, and just so fun. So it cuts all the shapes. So here's the gnome body and the hat and the beard and the nose. Okay, right here is shoes. You need two shoes, unless you're Oakley, and then always just, we can only ever find one shoe. Right. But we didn't cut shoes, but look at all of these. I didn't cut shoes. I always lose them when we I'm always laying them out them. here. So here's our gnome. But I want to show you a fun trick. Yes. You can make your gnome different sizes. So here we have our little embroideries. So here's a couple of embroidery samples. Now these are for purchase downloads. And this one is This to is die so for. cute. But see, he's a lot taller. Well, we've stretched him out. So the beard has been pulled up here. And then the hat is perched way up. If and we so got that you a hat, makes, would you be taller? Probably not. Okay. If it had been that easy, I would have done it years <laughs> ago, Pam. I stand on two inches of mat over she here, does. just so you know, so I'm closer to Pam's height. There we or go. Or you could make him smaller. Look at and how And you cute could he stretch, is. shrinky dink him down. Yeah, I love the gnome. I love the gnome. Or you could make a gnome S, yes, right? Yes, which is perfect. So you want to make a gnome S. Where's our cookie? I got him. Oh, there we go. I got you covered. You can use your dress from your, you can put your cookie dress on, or you actually don't even need that. Yeah. And I made some braids out of pearl cotton. Yes. And use yarn. I've done all kinds of things. Look how fun this is. Erica and then had so you gotta much You got to give fun. her a nose. Yep. You got to give her a nose. There's your little no mess. There's our little no mess. Or maybe you want to make your own Santa. And give it a Santa hat. Okay. We're going to show you a little trick for making that Santa hat. Erica has a super slick So trick. we've got some craft foam here. We're going to show you how that cuts. I'll send, right. you want to put that through first? So first of all, you're going to notice it's only going to cut where there is fabric or paper mm -hmm. or crafting foam and a mat. Yep. All right. So we're going to use our six by six cutting mat. Oh, I do have my scissors here. Good. I do love cutting those. <laughs> Craft foam is one of my favorite things. Oakley and I do crafty things all the time. All right, so then we've, I've got some little fuzzy stuff. So this is just some little fleecy yes. stuff. And I'm gonna place it on here so that again, it cuts just part of the hat. Now, again, only what's covered with fabric and a mat is gonna cut. So, so if I do this that. like this, right? Yep. Save yeah. your mat. Save your mat, I'm just gonna do it right here. And when it comes to like craft foam and felt and those thicker fabrics, I usually only cut one layer Me at a too. time. Okay, so there's our so little. There's our hat. Well, that doesn't look right. So all you have to do is just take your scissors 
and then just round this off. Just eyeball it, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's yeah. fuzzy, it's furry. I love it. And there you go, you've got the brim, the fuzzy brim for Santa's hat that fits just perfectly around it. How right. easy was that? So fun. And so many of these projects you could make with your kids and your grandkids. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of them are gonna be home over, like Oakley's off all next yes. week, and then, you know, some time yep. off for Christmas. So some really fun things. So get you a gnome. Get you a gnome, I'm gonna okay. save this. Save that. While you're picking those up, you know, we just made a Santa hat. Yes. Put it on your gingerbread cookie. How about that? There you go. Okay. Okay. All right. Next up, Erica, we have the angel. I think people don't know we have an angel. Die. I think you're right. I think you're right. This is our, our Go Angel. And again, free downloadable embroidery. I love with the angel that she is separate from the wings so yes. that you can have different fabrics used. And yes. it's just basically a silhouette. And we'll put, we made her some sparkly wings because angels are like that, you know, yes. especially at Christmas. Well, that's the backing. It there just came go. off. There you go. There's so the backing. we're ready to. So remember quilters, if you're using applique, you want to pre-fuse that fabric first. Yes. And then you can just peel it off and it will go beautifully. So look at how pretty our angel is. Isn't that pretty? And yes. then here we have, you could also use it just for a little girl. I think this would be really silhouette. sweet, really sweet for something, maybe even a first communion for a little girl. Oh for yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, you could do some really fun things with it. Okay, I like right. it. All right, I'm taking on the angels. Well, wait, you know as they say, days? there's, there's more. more. There is. Okay, next, next is, up is one of our favorite snowflake dies. This is our go seven inch snowflake die. And it's got a really unique history. Pam, can you share it that? It does, it's such a fun story. So a few years ago when they released the movie Frozen, there we go, I can move it. Yep. Let it go, you can sing Let it. Go. Um, Let it AQS, go. AQS um, created fabric for it and for the movie Frozen. And they asked us to create a die for the snowflakes mm -hmm. to go with Frozen. So these are, listen to this number, seven inch snowflakes. Yes. So they were big, they were meant to go like on bed covers and pillows and right. all of those kind of things. So we're gonna cut a snowflake today because uh, only kindergartners should cut them by hand. And I'm gonna cut this one because I really like it. Yes. Now I'm gonna do the same trick that we did with the gnome beard. I'm gonna use a 10 by 10 mat because I don't wanna use my big 10 by 24 mat. No. Might as well save that. Save, save that one. Yep, look at those. And Nothing again, I'm using my Go Big, but this would fit in our Go Fabric Cutter, yes. which is part of the Ready, Set, Go. Exactly. Yep. And our little Go Me will fit 70%. Mm -hmm. All right. That's right. Not this one, though. Not this one. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. This was this is so my best trick. quick. This was so easy to cut and yeah. look at it. Look at that. And we do have free embroidery downloads for that. We do. So that pretty little snowflake. So um, you could totally cut them out of craft foam, you could cut them out of fabric, you could applique them to yeah. projects. All, all kinds of things. I think I need this for a blog that's coming up. I think I've got an idea. Oh, cool, okay. okay. All right, Let's there's get a die this out that. of the way. Yes, we're moving all the dies. All right, we've got a couple of samples for you. The first up we have our Go Ornament Hot Pads. Okay, now, these are so cool. I forgot we had these. I know, aren't these adorable? Okay. So they look like little ornaments, mm -hmm. right? And we use the eight inch circle from the Go Big. Yep. And our good friend Gina Jemsaw created these. And there's a pattern on yes. our website. And then what there are they filled Insel with? Bright. They Insel are Inselbright. Just like you use for an oven mitt, there's Inselbright in here. We also sell that on our website. So throw some in your cart because right. you want to make sure you get up to at least $100. Right. And this is so you can put hot dishes here. Mm -hmm. So I just Super cute. love that they're so fun. I forget about these. And you can totally make these in a hot, just in a hot minute. In a hot minute. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, just in case you, oh wait, we have one more. Wait, there's another one. Wait, I love more. this. This is one of my favorites. That's why I made okay. Brock pull it out for us. Okay. So this is the Go Snowflakes wall hanging, but it can also be a pillow cover. Yes. And I love that because it's a great big throw pillow for down on the floor for the right. kids to curl up in, watch Christmas movies, and it features those nice seven inch snowflakes. So cute. And um, the checkerboard's made with two and a half inch strip die. 40% mm -hmm. off today. Cool. There you go. Okay. 
All right, now we can talk about tomorrow. Yes. Or Wednesday. Quilters, in case you didn't know, I think it's Tuesday, but it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. Um, I go live at 12 noon Central Time every Wednesday um, on our Facebook and YouTube uh, platforms. Now, next week, I was going to be talking about the Go Tangled Star. Yes. Which also has limited amounts, so yes. we're close to selling out. So order one now. Yes. Um, so I'm going to talk about the new Go Mitten die. We're going to yes. make this super cute wall hanging called Peppermint Twirl. Yes, so I love that wall So join me at 12 noon Central Time. All right, Erica, what are holidays without gingerbread cookies? The holidays are simply not the same without them. So maybe we should give away a couple of gingerbread cookie dies to make a point. Oh, let's do. All right. Quilters, the first lucky winner of a Go gingerbread cookie die is, drum roll please, Elizabeth B. from Orange, Vermont. Vermont. Orange, Vermont. I almost oh. said Vertexas. Vertexas? Yeah. I don't know where that is. <laughs> okay. And the second winner of a Go Gingerbread Cookie Die is, drum roll please, Peg S. from St. John's, Michigan. Congratulations. Congratulations. Both are winners. All right, quilters, don't forget our special event offer because it's Friday. Yeah. An extra 15% off your order. It's good for today only. You need to use the promo code HOLIDAY15. That's right. The promo code will save you 40% on currently marked down go cutters. Yes, you heard that right. Cutters. Dies and cubes. With some exceptions apply, so be sure to check the website for details. And quilters who live in the contiguous U.S., you will receive free shipping free when your shipping. order reaches $100 or more. So don't miss out on these deals. So especially today, we're talking about applique. Yes. Make sure you throw some fusible in your yep. cart. Yep. Um, make sure you're doing Insulbrite if you're doing the um, oven mitts or the, the hot pads. Hot pads. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. We have so many holiday dyes that the creative possibilities seem endless, don't they? They are. So think about it. You can use them for home decor and quilts and yeah. gifts and ornaments. And okay, wait, days. wait, 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 wait. Okay. Let's give everybody a chance to catch up with us. Okay. okay. All right. Let's go through some more dies, but one at a time, Pam. All right. Here we go. Let's start with the Go Santa stocking die. Yep. Now, I have to tell you, this is one of my favorite project dies mm -hmm. because it's so easy to make. And it cuts the sock different than the cuff. Yes. Right? So you can embroider on here. Now, you could totally make these out of felt. Um, you can make them super simple. There's some fancy ways. Um, one of our AQ Lives, I showed you how to line it, mm -hmm. and it was really fancy. So this is really, really fun. But we have some projects that I think we you do. and I need to have with our little grandkids. We do, we do. So you can embellish these so many different ways with embroidery, with ribbon, jingle bells. All but those look things. Look at these. So these are no so stockings. Um, they're called, uh, for our good friend Melanie Call made these. Okay, so Erica, talk about, so on mine, first of all, it uses the two inch alphabet, but yes. look, it uses shiny, shiny, shiny craft, craft foam. foam. Isn't this fun? Yep, and here's the snowman, which we're gonna show you in a minute. Yep. And the reindeer and the- um, Snowflakes. Yep. I just love it. I love these little polka dots. Yes. All over for the snowflakes. Dots for days. Melanie did a great job. Did. So again, a great project, a no-so project mm -hmm. for kids or grandkids. Maybe you're thinking of teenagers, you know, those oh, 12 yeah. year olds and 13 year olds, what can they do? This is a great project for this them. This is great. I love this. All right, well, we've got another one of our, my favorite applique dies right here. Can you guess which one it is? I do know which one this is, hold on. It is this one. It is, so this is the Go holiday accessories die and yes. it works with the reason we're showing you the circles is because you really need both of them to work together right. and we want to so show you when kind you see of the circles these are the two three and five inch circles what did they look like quilters <coughs> a snowman a You're snowman exactly right there we go so here you can see we've taken the different pieces we've put it together we've got the scarf and you can mix and match you can cut down the arms and have them for the little snowman. I You've love this so idea of just options. felt here. Mm -hmm. Because think about like during holiday times, you can just have kids be able to build snowman and use all of these kind of fun things. Have really fun things. There's also a, a big bow on there. <laughs> so this bow you can use to turn squares, just regular squares out of your cubes into packages for things. 
we've got, of course, we looked at our little snow, our little Santa hat, right? We made one from our gnome. How about putting that <coughs> on our snowman? Look how cute he is. Look how cute. So okay. that's going to fit and work too. Now, of Erica, course, we've got downloadable piece. embroidery. There's one piece right here. Right there. Nobody knows what that is ever. It oh, here, goes here with go. the circles to make them into ornaments. Look at how fun that Look is. Look at how cute that is. So you could use our two inch classic alphabet and you could put Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays oh or Happy- Oh my gosh, so many things. Yeah. Great idea. Yeah. Great idea. Now on the wall is one of my favorite, favorite quilt patterns. Yes. Okay, so Erica, do you want to talk about this? Yes, so Pam's gonna point out and show us. Can I come back? Yes, come, okay. come okay. with me. All right. There's plenty so of room. Here's, here's, we're gonna start out here. We've got our, um, the holly leaves, that's from the holiday medley. Then we've got our circles <laughs> that we turned into ornaments. Right. This is from the ghost stars. Yes. This is actually from our round flower die. Here's the sleigh and snowflakes from the sleigh and snowflakes. Yes. We're gonna talk about that, our holly leaves. More packages, again, with that ribbon. We just talked about how that goes on the, the boxes. More snowflakes. We've built some snowmen here that are really cute. And look how I love, I hadn't noticed this, the little plaid. Oh yeah, look it. at how cute those are. Cute? Used a striped, you know, for right. the, that. The scarf. This is my favorite part of this the This is quilt. the best part. They've taken the snowflakes and cut them down the center and used them as a border treatment. I think that is just genius. Okay, I just think forever, whenever I make a winter quilt, that's what the border I'm going to use. that border on there. I do. It's okay. so cool. So, okay, so think about snowman for days. Yep, snowman for days. Pretty soon in Nebraska, it's going right. to do that. They're going to fold up. They're going to yep. move over here. Don't lose the sand. We're moving on. Nope. Okay, so now we have this next one. This is called Slay and Snowflakes. Right. This is right? what we talked about a minute yep. ago. And it has two snowflakes, obviously, and the sleigh and Rudolph. And again, a free embroidery download. Yes. And cuts those snowflakes, cuts all of those fabrics. But here are some amazing. Look at these. These are for purchase. This is These from... are good friends at V-Stitch. Mm -hmm. And Thank look you, at these. Aren't they adorable? Yes. So this is um, just look at the detail. The detail's that you can amazing. Get them here. And yep. look. Red nose, it's Rudolph. It is Rudolph. And here, I'll put this one on top so okay, that we perfect. can do that. And look at how fun that is. And this is another really fun stitch. She's got such fun stitches, the detail. Yeah. Look at the little holly leaves that are stitched onto the sleigh. Right. And these amazing snowflakes. Right. And then let me show you the last thing, Erica, you want to talk about yes. this garland? So this garland is super cute. This is the Go Night Before Christmas garland. It was designed by Carolina Moore from alwayspectmore.com, which I love the name of her site. Yes. She used paper. She did. And, and she hot glued them onto some festive ribbon. ribbon. Used our and sleigh and used... There's an elf driving the sleigh. That's yes. our gnome die with little elf ears added. <laughs> I had not even thought of that. All the gnomes I've made, I All had the not gnomes. thought about... No, Elf. I had not thought about elf ears. I have made ninja gnomes, but never elf gnomes. Never, no, we had to make a Ganinja gnome for, we did. for Justin. That we was did. Just for a Ganinja gnome. All right. So speaking of reindeer. Yes. Okay. Look. So we have. I'm going to let you hold this. Okay. We'll yep. Hold it here I for Mr. Brock. One. Or for Justin. Sorry. So we have the cardinal. Which is so pretty. So pretty. And I feel like, again, think about how long it would take you quilters to cut these shapes oh, by gosh, hand. Oh gosh, yes. You know, look how fast we cut them with our cutters. So again, more snowflakes. Mm -hmm. And then Erica, I'll hold this so you can tell the fun story okay. about it. Okay, I just fell in love with this reindeer. The first holiday season that I worked for AccuQuilt, I had just started in October and I thought it would be fabulous to cut these out of red felt and glue them onto cardstock and make handmade cards and write hand write notes by hand for all of our AccuQuilt retailers. Yes, that I was got, her plan. That was my plan. And then it got so busy that I got none made at all. None. And I had a drawer full of red felt reindeer. So over the next few years, I used red felt reindeer for a variety of projects, including my daughter using some. She wrapped all of her packages one year in brown paper. She tied them up with string, just like the song. And then she glued red reindeer onto them and wrote people's names on the reindeer. For days. But you could use them totally as place cards for Christmas oh, dinner. So many different things. You could things. just, all the fun things. All I right? love those curly antlers. And again, it would be so hard to cut by hand. Right. 
Now we have a really fun project that we made with our 12 inch cube. Ooh, this is big, a, so I'm gonna come over yep. here. We'll grab it. You. Yeah. Oh, good, thank you. All right, so Erica, we used our 12 inch cube and this is called Winter's Here. And this is a sampler quilt, but it uses those three dyes we just talked about. And I love it. I love the colors. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit more muted. And I would not feel bad at all about having this up all of November, all of December, and all of January yeah. myself. Yeah. I just think it's so fun. And again, all of these are free downloadable patterns from AccuQuilt.com. That's right. Okay. We are moving through we our dyes. We're loving so it. So many. Now, quilters, we've been showing you tons of applique today, and we want to know how do you applique? Do you iron on fusible, iron onto your project, and, and be done? Do you use your domestic sewing machine and do a straight line or use a decorative stitch, or do you use an embroidery machine? Right. And I have a tendency, Erica, to use all of those. All of those. Depending on yep. the projects. So if you're watching via the registration link, you can click on the vote box below or to the right of the chat box and let us know how you applique. That's right. And if you're watching via Facebook or YouTube, you can let us know in the comments. Voting is officially open. Excellent. All right, you know, Pam, I think we should do another giveaway right oh, about Oh, let's now. do. All right. Okay. Ooh, fabric bundles. Yes, here, I'm gonna grab them. <coughs> Thank you. Ooh, look at these. Our good friends at Shannon Fabrics. Oh. Okay, first of all, we talk about cuddle fabric all the time, oh. and it's so smooth. And think of how fun these would be on the back of projects. Yes. And just so soft. And these are strips. These are 10 inch strips, I think. Yes. Of oh. this, yes, 10 there inch. We go. You could make the backing for a quilt out of this. Mm -hmm. oh, look at this one. Look at how cute <gasps> these are. These are so, so shall we give away our bundles? All right, we should. All right, the first lucky winner of a Shannon fabric bundle is, drum roll please. Alana W. from Amherst Junction, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, they're so good. They stand up on themselves. I know. And the second lucky winner of a Shannon Fabric Bundle is, drum roll please, JCW from Gastonia, North Carolina. Congratulations. Congratulations. And a huge shout out to our good friends at Shannon Fabric for uh, sponsoring our show and providing our fun giveaway today. That's right. Okay, quilters, remember, using the promo code HOLIDAY15 will get you an extra what? 15%. 15% off your order today. That's right, the code will combine with our other markdown items, saving you 40% on Go Cutters, our Go Big, our Ready, Set, Go, and our dies and cubes, a great day to get cubes. Great day. Some excuse, exclusions apply, check the website for details. We are so excited, we have so many things to share. So many words. And if you live in the contiguous US, your items will ship for free when you purchase $100 or more. Don't miss out on that great deal. Be sure to place your orders today in time for the holiday season. All right, quilters, we want to know, how do you applique? Do you use iron on fusible and you're done? Do you have a domestic machine? You Maybe you do rage quilting or a decorative stitch, or do you use embroidery machine? That's right. We've looked at a lot of options today. We have. So while everybody's casting their votes, let's share some more inspirational projects. We have been busy cooking up some fresh ideas and ways to use all of our great holiday dyes. That's right, okay, but quilters, right now I'm gonna say, these are for inspiration only. We yes. don't have patterns for them. No. Erica created a whole bunch of them for us, and this video is recorded, and yes. it lives on our Facebook and YouTube pages, so you can come back and see all of these fun projects that Erica yep. started. That's right. She went to the dollar store, there was no stopping her. I was, there was no stopping me. Right, inspiration so, galore. So let's start with fall. And I can't resist showing off the gnome die again, but look, Erica made turkey gnomes. So talk about what shapes okay. we needed. I used the Go Daisy die for the feathers. And so the bow and the eyeballs over here are from the cookie, cookie decorations, decorations yep. right? Yep. And these are the gnome feet. See, I, I oh, there, they we were taped feet. down so I wouldn't lose them. There you go. And then we just, I just literally drove, Drew those on with a Sharpie. Perfect. So this would be fun like for mug rugs or oven mitts or aprons or pillows. I love this idea of making like place cards. Mm -hmm. It's super It'd cute. be great out of felt. It'd be great out of quilting cotton. Great way to use up your scraps. I also think it would be fun, um, again, a project while the kids are waiting for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh have yeah. everybody make turkey gnomes. Oh, turkey gnomes for days. Turkey gnomes. All right, now Hanukkah starts 
It does. November 29th. Yes, very ten soon. Days. So we have a couple of ideas for that. We grabbed the go Sarah Vedler's Sparkling sto Snowflake. Right. So it has a Star of David on it. Everyone always asks so, that. They say, do we have right, a They want a six-pointed star. We've got one right here. And I cut out two layers of craft foam, glued them together with a little loop. You could use this for a place card. You could use it um, to hang. You could use it for a gift tag. Yeah. And then to go with it, of course, you got to have some gelt. Yes, we just so use the circles. We, again, this is some glittery cotton glued on top of craft foam how fun that is or just some to scatter around that is non-chocolate right. yes darn <laughs> darn and then we also made some shalom gnomes to go and you can see <laughs> these how. are my favorite <laughs> we use the the two inch classic alphabet here yes. and you could put these little gnomes on an apron you could put them on anything like They're a just little super tea towel cute. or something mm -hmm. that would be really just cute. really fun and again a great project for kids to make their own shalom gnomes yes okay. absolutely all right. All right. So then let's we've talk got more. about our holiday dies. Okay. So think quilters of ways to embellish things like tote bags and other items. Okay. okay. So here's a little tote bag. We didn't even get anything on this no. one. How cute is that? It was a, it was two bucks at the craft yeah. store. Yeah. So you could totally do all sorts of applique and, mm. and uh, iron on fusible. I love it. Yep. Okay. So then we, I found this little wooden box, right? And we used the um, holiday accessories. No, the holiday, holiday medley. medley. So that's right? two of the holly leaves and three of the little circles for the berries. And I thought this would be really, really cute to hold Christmas cards in or mm -hmm. pens. Kids could write thank you notes or people could write thank you notes. Do yes. we still write thank you notes? We do at our house. Yes, we do too. Okay. All right. So we've got a little, um, what else? We've got so many things. Oh, here's the clipboard. This one is so this fun. This is with the Brick cookie he probably should be decorated so we could yep. put the Santa hat on him and use some buttons and yep. Rick rack and some other fun things Fun little notes that you could write okay here's a here's a little framed a little, little frame picture you could again kids could make these for gifts right dollar store how fun, how fun. Okay. okay, this is our personal favorite. This is our personal okay, favorite. Okay, not only do I love the gnome with the buffalo plaid, yes. but these are the guys from our live stream. Yeah, these are our live stream team. We should give them a huge this big we've got shout out. Um, we have Brock and Justin and Joe. And you never see them, but they make it all work. So good job, guys. So we might keep that one. We might keep that one on set. Okay, now this one I thought was a great idea because um, you, it's just a little notebook, right? It's just right? a little notebook. But I thought it would be fun to even, like you could do it with um, uh, pumpkins and such and have kids write what they're thankful for. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody at the Thanksgiving dinner or could write. make your Christmas list. Make your Christmas list. And here we've got two layers of fabric. So we've yeah. got... Two layers to give you that shadow effect. That was Jill's inspiration. Thank you, Ms. Thank Jill. Thank you, Jill. Okay. This was, again, another project. It, they had canvases, little yep. canvases for just a dollar. And I thought, you know what? Kids could paint a snowy scene. There you go. And then use the holiday accessories in the circles to build snowmen on top build of them. Build snowmen. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. We have so... We should have had John or Oakley paint We should have. We just... In our spare time. In our spare <laughs> time. So here's our cardinal out of craft foam and right. my reindeer. He is a little bit more stable, I will tell you, if you cut him out of craft foam. Yes. To use for ornaments, for gift tags. Mm -hmm. There's the cardinal, there's a snowflake. Yes. You could hang snowflakes from all over, unless you're as creative as Justin's wife who cuts them by hand. She does. Um, I've cut these out of sparkly craft foam. Oh, that would be fun too. Which hang them in fun. the windows. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. All right, so then we've got a, we got to count down the days, right? We so we've got a dry erase board. Here we can write the days till, this will probably live on the set now that we've yes, got Yes, we here. should totally do that, yep. days till Christmas. And again, a great way to fund projects for kids. Oh, okay. And this one is so fun. <laughs> so this is our tote bag. Um, and it this is our flamingo die, which it we is. haven't seen for a little bit. I know. Um, but we put a little Santa hat on him. Yep. And then just in case you didn't want that, you it's a double-sided. That's right. right. So now, if you wanted so to do something different, you can also use the negative space. So let's leave this here yeah. for me for a minute. And I just cut some of the some acetate sheets out with the holly leaf, and you could lay these down and use that to stencil and oh, paint. Oh, that's a great onto idea. The tote bag. That's a great idea. I was experimenting on glass. I think the tote bag's going to work better. Although my thought for glass would be like that spray etching stuff. 
Oh, that's a good try idea. that, but I didn't get that try. But I also think it'd be fun to do these as snowflakes and just take a sponge brush uh -huh. and let the kids do let the make kids paint them. Yeah. I'm all about what are we going to do with Oakley for 12 days. <laughs> That's right. We've stuff. all got them coming up, right? Yes. They're we go. all going to be at home. There's so the Santa hat. You are bound. Oh, it came off the flamingo. It's okay. I, it's because I folded him. Oh, okay. You are bound to come up with even more great ideas and Santa hats. Yes. From a visit to the dollar store, your local craft store, you can just get so many ideas. Yeah. Now, quilters, do you know that you can earn 250 reward points that can be used towards for future AccuQuilt purchases. All you need to do is share your quilting photos with us on our social media pages using the hashtag AccuQuiltBuilt. So all of these ideas that we gave you today, yes. I'm so sure that so many of you are gonna make them. So yes. share it with us on social media, use that hashtag AccuQuiltBuilt. That's right, we offer this reward points once a month, mm -hmm. but even if you're making a ton of projects, don't let that stop you from sharing your projects with us more than once a month. Be sure to publicly share your AccuQuilt projects photos so we can award you those reward points. That's right. All right, Quilters, voting has officially closed. In a few moments, we'll be revealing the majority of those watching how they like to do their applications. Yes. It's going to be great. All right, while we tally the votes, here's our special event deal one last time in case you missed it earlier. Use the code HOLIDAY15 at checkout to receive what? 15%. The code will save you 40% on Markdown Go Cutters. Cutters, we're saying that. Yeah. Go bigs, ready, set, goes. Dies and cubes. cubes. Think about the cubes that you don't currently have in your stock or companion sets. Yeah. Some exclusions apply, so check the website for details. Plus, if you live in the contiguous U.S. and spend $100, we will ship your products free. That is right. Now, remember, quilters, get your orders in now while supplies last, especially with global supply issues happening this time of year. When we run out of things right now, we are never sure exactly when we're going to get more in. Right. And a lot of these products won't even come back until next year. Right. So to place your order, use your friend's camera to capture the QR image here. It'll take you directly to the site. Now, with the holidays coming, quilt now and pay later. Check out our financing options at AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, our team has tallied the results and are, we're about to reveal how the majority of you watching like to applique. Do, do you, you just oh, go ahead. fuse it, iron it on? Or do you what? Domestic sewing, like a bridge quilting or um, a decorative stitch. Or do you use an embroidery machine? And I think you and I use all three of those. But we let's do. see what our quilts we are do. Set. It looks like the answer is An embroidery machine. Yeah, that's, that's great. exciting. Oh, we have got some. We had, you know what? It was so hard. We have so many great holiday things. We could hardly decide which ones to show you. So we've got a few more right. that involve embroidery that we just had to show you. Right. So these are our um, ornaments. Mm -hmm. And again, we've used snowflakes and our cardinal. But look at the beautiful detail. I mean, I love the fabric for this and the yes. gold with it. These are for purchase yes. on the website. Right. And a great way to like make bigger projects, you know. Um, oh, you'd be done so quickly. So yeah. quickly. Table runners, a little wall hanging, little snuggy quilt. Okay. And then our good friends from V-Stitch. Look what they made. Look at this. Look at this. So this is Pam's pickup. I don't know. AccuQuilt calls it something else. But this is Pam's pickup. And it has the tree from the... Um, Holiday medley. Amazing but detail. Look on at it. this, Erica. It says tree farm. And it has a little tiny tree embroidered on it. Hey, V Stitch, will you make one that says Pam's pickup? Would you do that for me? Okay. So this is our pickup truck. Again, all of these dies are part of our 40% off sale. Right. So make sure you're getting them. Here's the tree from that holiday medley we talked about. Yep. And then, okay, Erica, we hardly ever talk about the elephant die, but this was actually one of the first dies I ever used at AccuQuilt. And it has been such a popular die. It was a trial die. It went away and it came back by popular demand. And look at it as yes. Santa. And the stitching looks like holly leaves. Oh, it I mean, does. Yes. <gasps> so cute. Oh my gosh, the so, detail, amazing. Yep. And then next to the gingerbread cookie, this was absolutely hands down one of our most popular dies. Absolutely, this is the owl. You can right. use the pieces for so many things, but right. look at it as a Santa owl. Right, and all of these are for purchases. Again, a huge shout out to our good friends at V-Stitch. The owl, um, there's a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com called 
uh, talk to the animals. You yes. can take the owl and make him into nine animals. Yes. I know, so fun. And there's some others. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So just the tip. Check it out. Closers, if you're thinking you need a guide to help you decide on what holiday gifts to order, we have you covered. That's right. Visit AccuQuilt.com slash 2021 gift guide for the ultimate quilter's guide to help you with your holiday gift purchases. All right, be sure to join us again next week on Tuesday, November 23rd. I know today's Friday. I know it took us a minute. We sent our does. notices to remind it us does. that we had a show today. At 12 noon central time for a new trunk show called Steals and Deals. Hmm. Hmm. And with a name like that, you know it's going to be your chance to enjoy a lot of fun and a great deal. Plus, we're going to be joined by our special guest, Markdown Mark Mike. Mike. He has a hard hat. And a, and a clipboard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're going to not want to miss this show. All right, quilters. It is currently the month of our Sovember sweepstakes. So by registering for at least one of our eight November events, you qualify for a chance to win $500 in AccuQuilt reward points. The winner of this grand prize will be announced on our November 30th show. And when you register, you will also be entered for a chance to win a $100 reward point show for that show. We're drawing winners for every November show, so let's announce today's winner oh. right now. Yes. All right. Today's winner of $100 in AccuQuilt reward points is, drum roll please, <laughs> Kathy C. from Sandy Springs, Oklahoma. Congratulations, Congratulations. Kathy. Oh, she's going to have fun shopping. She is. Happy, happy day to you. All right, quilters, if you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy, now is that time. Here's the link right now. Be sure to get all of your holiday goodies before they're gone. Make sure you're stocking up on cubes and dies, and don't forget those cutters, all 40% off. That's right. We had an extravagant time showing you all of our holiday themed dies, and can't wait to see what you come up with for your future projects. Thanks so much for joining us today on this special Friday show. We hope to see you on Tuesday. That's right. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.